Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah. On this channel, I share the behind the scenes of what it's like to run my own stationary business and I also just became a new mom. On this channel, I'm navigating all things motherhood, small business, and everything else in between. In today's video, I'm sharing with you the top digital tools I use to run my small business. These are must-haves for my own business, but they are by no means essential to running any small business. It may or may not work for you. But let's get right into it. The first program that I use without fail every single day is Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm currently subscribed to every single one of their programs. So that includes Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, everything in their all-inclusive package. And I would say I use almost all of them. I use InDesign to do all my layouts for my product designs. I use Photoshop to edit any illustrations or lettering work. I use Illustrator to do all my lettering and vector work. I use Lightroom to batch edit photos. And I use Premiere Pro to edit videos like this one. In the past, you were able to just buy these programs like any other software, but now they offer a monthly subscription and that's the only way that you can get their latest software. I currently pay $71.99 Canadian per month and this is for an individual plan. When it comes to these creative programs, there are obviously a lot of other options, but Adobe is what I learned in school when I did my master's in medical illustration. For every single one of the programs I mentioned, I have yet to find a better alternative. The cost does seem high per month, but because I rely so heavily on these products to create literally any product, it is well worth it in my opinion. The second tool that I use a lot is actually an iPad program, and that is Procreate. A lot of illustrators and hand lettering artists use Procreate, especially because it works so well with the Apple iPad Pencil. Procreate is where I do all my digital lettering. I must have downloaded this program five years ago, and it still works flawlessly for me. I actually have an iPad screen protector on called Paperlike, and it really mimics the touch of paper. It really does feel like I'm inking directly onto traditional paper. In the past, I've used drawing tablets on my computer, like the Wacom, and it is just not the same. Procreate has a one-time fee of $13.99 Canadian, but they do offer a free trial if you'd like to try. The third digital tool that I pay for is a very basic one, but it's something that is very, very important in my opinion, and that is a Google email. I have a business email that has my own domain at the back of it, so instead of at gmail.com, it says at saleofpaper.com, and I pay $7.80 Canadian for this per month. Obviously, the alternative is to just have a regular Gmail email, which is free, and I think that works totally fine. I just thought that it would be a lot more professional to have my own domain in my email. The next thing I pay for is my e-commerce platform, which is Shopify. Now, I did make a video a few years ago comparing Etsy with Squarespace, and I did use Squarespace for many years, but I migrated to Shopify and I have not looked back. This e-commerce platform is so robust and I pay about 38 Canadian per month. Squarespace is cheaper. I believe it's around 23 Canadian per month, but Shopify has a lot more features that are essential to my business. And I'll be making a separate video on what I like about Shopify later. I also use Etsy and Fair as e-commerce platforms, but those are both pay as you go. So they take a cut of your sales, but you don't actually have to pay a monthly fee to be on their platform. Next for my email marketing, I use Flowdesk. Flowdesk is $19 USD per month. The price has since gone up, but if you use my referral code down in the description box, you'll be able to to save 50% off of yours as well. Honestly, it's a steep price, but it is so worth it. Having a growing and strong email list is so important to my business. It converts to sales really well, and it's the best way for me to directly communicate with my customers. It is so intuitive to use Flowdesk. Their templates are beautiful, and it actually makes writing emails very fun. I used to use MailChimp's free version, and I found that that was just as fine, but I really wanted to have more control over the design. Back when I was on Squarespace, I also used Squarespace's native email marketing tool, and that was great as well, but in my opinion, Flowdesk is superior to any of these other email marketing platforms in terms of design and ease of use. Accounting software. I've only ever used two programs and the first one was QuickBooks. I used QuickBooks for a long time paying $22 a month and I had a bookkeeper that was also integrated onto my QuickBooks account. It's obviously a very great program, like a lot of people use QuickBooks and they have every feature you're ever going to need as a business. However, this year, 2022, I switched over to Wave. Wave is a completely free 
software and so far it's been just as good as QuickBooks. I really like Wave's invoicing feature and they also make it very easy to convert USD to Canadian. For example, FAIR pays me out in US dollars and then that goes to my US bank account and then it gets transferred and converted to my Canadian bank account. I found that with QuickBooks, it was hard to do the conversion of these transactions, but with Wave, it's a lot easier. The next digital tool that I use every single day without fail is my calendar. I use Google Calendar. If you know me personally, you know that I am obsessed with running a very, very tight calendar. I've been documenting almost every event in my life since 2009 or so. And I started doing this on my Apple iCal to look back on memories and see what I did on any given day in the past 14 years. For example, if I type my friend Irene's name in the search bar, I'll be able to see every single time I've hung out with her in my calendar. I love looking back and keeping a diary log of sorts. A few months ago, I switched over to Google Calendar to make it easier to sync calendars with my husband and also to accept invites and events. I like that it's completely cloud-based and I've had no issues in terms of syncing with my iPhone or my Apple Watch. The project management tool I use to collect notes and to keep track of all my ongoing projects is Notion. Notion is completely free and if you've watched any productivity videos on YouTube or studio vlogs, you've probably heard of Notion. It's a great platform because it's so flexible. I use my Notion to keep track of personal things like groceries, trip itineraries, books I've read. Notion makes it really easy to keep track and manage your data. If I take notes on some books, I can keep them all in one place. I also use it for my business to write scripts for my YouTube videos, to keep notes like anything I would keep on a post-it note and also to roadmap my entire year for product planning. I also do use Google Drive, which is included in my G Suite account, and I use it to store my files and all my spreadsheets. All right, we are almost reaching the end. The next tool that I use daily is a to-do list. In the past, I loved relying on paper, but because my office is now at my parents' home, it's very important for me not to have to carry around a piece of paper here to there. Having an online to-do list that I can access from my phone and my computer was very key. And so for that, I use Todoist. Free app, very easy to use, and it allows you to prioritize and schedule your to-do list items. Next is a photo editing app. I like to edit all my photos before posting them on Instagram or on my website. And for that, I need a quick tool on my phone. And that tool is Snapseed. Snapseed is a free tool and it is amazing what you can do on it. I not only edit the colors, but I can edit out things in the background, add a fake lens blur, change the proportion. It is honestly such an amazing app and I can't believe it's free. I also use Lightroom Mobile to do color correcting and editing sometimes, but I mostly use Snapseed. When I'm doing heavier photo editing, like product or inventory listings. I like to do the editing on my computer so I can bulk edit everything and keep a very consistent look. And for that, I use Adobe Lightroom as part of the Creative Cloud package that I pay for. Speaking of social media, I do use a social media planning tool, but not every day. The one I use is called Preview and I use the free version. It just allows me to see my grid and see what a new photo would look like on that grid, just so that I can keep things cohesive and on brand. I don't actually plan or schedule my posts ahead of time. That is something I really want to do in 2023 but for now I do post things on the fly but using preview allows me to just quickly see what the photo is going to look like and if it really clashes with my grid I'll just pick an alternative photo and lastly because I'm a product-based business I do need a shipping platform to help me ship my products around the world and my current courier is Stallion Express. Stallion Express has two locations one is in Mississauga and one is in Markham so it's not as accessible as other ones like Chit Chats but their rates have been the cheapest ones that I've found so far. I use chit chats for the majority of my business, but this year I actually fully switched over to Stallion Express just to make use of the lower costs. And that's it. Those are all the digital tools and subscriptions that I use to run my small business. Again, these are must haves for me and my operation and my budget, but by no means do you need to pay or buy any of these things to run a small business. There are free alternatives for almost everything these days. And when you're starting out, it can be a very wise decision to keep your costs low. However, as you grow and scale, I also do believe it's important to invest in the right tools to optimize your time, your energy, your resources, and to ultimately help your business grow. Also keep in mind what I shared today is just a snapshot of what I'm using right now in my business. But as my business grows and evolves, I love trying new things. I switch over to different programs depending on what's right for me at the time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or leave me a DM on Instagram. I'd love to chat. I hope this video helped you and I hope it inspires you to take the next step in growing your small business as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my business. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.